One of the more difficult things to do with CNC routers and CNC machines is picking up where you left off. In this particular video, I'm going to show you a mistake that I made and it hopefully it will help other people in recovering any projects that you may have. So I started a project. I remembered while it was running in the project that I had to do some more machining operations that I left out. And I didn't want to continue with this project before putting in those new machining operations. So I stopped the project, but I wanted to make sure that I stopped it at a point that I knew that I can reference later on. When I went back to the computer to stop the process or using the feed hold, I felt static electricity and my X and Y for some reason changed its location. So instead of showing the location that it left off, it showed a location somewhere completely arbitrary. So I'm going to try to recover this project. I know that it's the end mill is at a particular location. There is a hole right here where the end mill is. And I know where that hole location is. So I'm going to make a change in my CAM program to make this hole a zero zero position. I believe that this hole here is the hole that's underneath my end mill. And I'm going to confirm this once I have this in position. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything. And I'm just going to move everything using the move command to my zero zero. So now all I have to do on the machine is make this my origin and then it should be a good place to make the origin so everything lines up correctly. So I'm going to regenerate and produce my g-code. I'm going to call this something else. Okay, so let's go to the CNC machine and see if I move the, well, after I do an origin, re-zero the X, and then I re-zero the Y, and then I re-zero the Z. I'm gonna go to another hole, an arbitrary hole, and make sure that the end mill is directly above that particular hole. That's just to confirm that I'm making the zero zero in the correct hole, because I don't have as many holes in the workpiece know exactly which hole it is. Okay, I'm gonna dissipate my static electricity and load the new file. Now I'm going to zero the X and zero the Y. I'm going to regenerate the toolpath. You can see that the hole that is of the origin is right here. So I'm going to move the machine and see if it goes over a, another hole that is known here. Okay, I'm very near a particular hole and it looks like it's not the correct location. So I'm way, way off. So I was trying to go to a hole that is located here. So it looks like I'm way off. Probably the better thing to do would, would be to measure where that hole is. So I'm going to do that instead. So I'm going to move the machine out of the way so I can measure. I don't need to re-home or re-zero anything when I make this change because I'm just trying to find out which hole that is. And by zeroing it here is totally fine because when I go into the cam, I just all I have to do is move it to that particular hole. Okay, I'm going to just make a box in, in CAMBAM. Um, with these measurements from this particular hole here. So this is about nine inches by about four inches. Oh, yeah, about three and a half, four inches. So I'm gonna make that box here or that rectangle. This is the hole I'm measuring from. I'm just gonna make an arbitrary rectangle and then my width is nine. And my height is around three and a half. Let me move that back to this corner here. All right, and I don't see a hole here because this was actually the one of the geometries that I added that I needed to put in for this project. And I removed that hole, but I do have it saved in another portion. So let's go over here. That's one of these holes here. So it's the middle bottom. So it's this hole right here. I'm just going to do a copy and paste. And I'm going to move it from a known location. Uh, let's do it from this top hole here. Oh, 
Okay, so now this is going to have to be my new origin. I'm going to remove this geometry. All right, so I'm going to take everything and move it. And go to the zero. So hopefully that works. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. And it looks like about the same, yeah, about the same amount of space where I was off. So I'm going to go ahead and do another copy of this. I'm going to do revision three. Save and let's try it out. All right, so I'm going to load the new G code. So I'm going to move the machine to another location, unknown location. I'm about centered, a little bit low on the center of that hole. And I'm about a little bit left of it, but I'm near it, so that's all I need to know. This might be a little bit difficult to see on the camera, but it is definitely in that location, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and continue my project, and hopefully it'll align itself perfectly with those holes that I already made. Thank you. 